What is good, YouTube? This is your boy Andre G back with another video. I know I've been lagging it, but here we are with another one today. Room tour, shoe tour. Let's get it. All right, so I don't know what I want to start off with, but here we got the door, of course. Got my, my jacket's hanging on it. You know, I got the drip. As soon as you walk in, that makes you flex. You know, we represent it all day, son. Flag right behind the door. Mando. Hanging from the ceiling. Y'all see it? I'm on my culture shit. Got a fucking shit. I don't even know what that's called, but <laughs> a lantern or something. But got that hanging on the roof, you know. Respect it. And behind me, my beautiful sneaker wall. Let me show you a little bit of it. So that's my sneaker wall. And I'll talk about that at the end of the video. All right now, let's get to it to the room. This first side, you know, we got the shoe wall, like I already showed. Got the shoes right here, the boxes. Got my Nike bag where I keep my, my things for my Travis Scott's, which I'll show you later. Got my bag for my belt somewhere right now. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Y'all see it? <laughs> On the bottom, I got my boots, you know, taking out the light list. Got my hat that I always be wearing to school because it's cold as hell in the mornings. My accessories, got my little band-aids, my Chanel signed by Matt Breda. I know y'all remember that video. If y'all remember that video, go real ones. My little Supreme parachute toy. You know I like collecting accessories. This little bear I made. Got a little Supreme band-aid. You know you got the Supreme do rag on. Posted flags of Supreme, yes, I know. What the fuck did I buy these? No reason. And my Supreme Portable Charger, which I have over there right now. So really, this side of the room is basically just where, you know, it just looks nice, you know? Right here, my little showa for my shirts. Right here, my inspiration, my role model, Martin Luther King. Don't let the dream die, ever. One of my favorite YouTubers, Merch. He inspired me to do YouTube. That's why I hang it there. And this shirt just cause it looks sick as fuck. Y'all saw my beautiful sneaker wall with my little accessories and my botas. Now it's time to see the dress. This side of the room starts off hard. Got my jerseys, my favorite teams. My favorite players, Russell Westbrook, Cruz Azul. You know I've been repping them since a little kid. You'll see it in the picture right here. The Giants, my favorite player, or one of my favorite receivers, OBJ. Even though he got traded, still heartbroken about that. <laughs> You know, I still be going for the Giants. Even though Westbrook's on the Rockets, I still root for the Thunder. Never switch up. And then, got my PlayStation. My beautiful PlayStation, which I play a lot. I use it a lot. My mirror where I look at my daily fits, you know. I would have kicks on right now, but I gotta show you them later. I always look up for going like, damn, is this cool enough or not? Nah? Do I need to add the beanie or not, nah, you know? Just to see my fits. Right under the PlayStation, we got my little, I don't even know what you call this, my little drip station, you know? I'm gonna go to a buy land, I'm gonna go out with a female, put on some Chanel, you know? <laughs> I guarantee you buy this, bro. Every time you go out, you will get a compliment. I guarantee you. The Versace deodorant, because you know, shit smells hella good. It's actually the thing from my shower cap, which is on my bear. The little burner phone, you know? Gotta get my deals done. Gotta call Chopper real quick. Call him on this. So no head. Fuck. Gotta get this little picture of me. Respect the glow up. You know me. And right here at the bottom is really where I store the other pair of my shoes to these on the sneaker wall. But I do have a few pairs here, which I did not show. Such as my slippers. You know, I be wearing these a lot because I be cozy 24 seven. My pair of OBJ ones, only pair of fans I ever owned. <laughs> Got my Jordans, my uncle bought me for Christmas. My Kyrie's the ball up, my Westbrook's the ball up. My phone posits, which I'll tell you a story later. My PG's, which my cousin gave me and I beat the fuck out of them. They have holes at the bottom. <laughs> my Converse, which I also beat the fuck out of. And they literally talk. Like Look at bro, they be talking, bro. <laughs> And my narco shoes. And then in there, I got my my prom shoes. And I'm trying to look fly. Other than my shoes, I got this little Tyler Creator poster. 
I got my my little picture of my favorite OKC team. And I got this wall with just stickers, you know. Supreme, because I buy hella. My other Grizzly School jersey, which has every team or every player autographed on it. My TV, where I play my PlayStation. My first pair of shoes I've ever owned. My PS4 controller. My also lot shout out of my Minecraft players, bro. Y'all, if y'all play Minecraft, bro, I love y'all. You know, simple things like that. Sheesh. My, my little 6 4. <laughs> I know y'all see it. The globe was real. The globe was real, bro. I'm telling you. Kendamas, bro. I know y'all remember these. I was on these all day. Middle school. More accessories, because, you know, never hurts to have band aids. And the famous In and Out hat when I got banned from Walmart. So that was my second wall, you know. So simple, so simple. So let's go to the third wall now. This last wall where I kind of playing, still working on it. As you can see, I don't have a lot of stickers on this wall yet. I got my setup right there because I'm about to record my shoe stories after. Yeah, yeah, Lamborghini, huh? Lambo by the crib. This is how it is. Bitches, 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 bitches. Rest in PCMs. Rest in PCMs. Got my Tyler the Creator poster. You know, it's a tradition. I always get the poster with the shirt. Igor, very controversial. I don't know. Least favorite Tyler the Creator album. In my opinion, his older stuff is better. My sticker is really not finished with it. This famous sticker right here. All the greats that have passed away. As they passed away, I always write down their names. And it's really people that have like influenced me in a way. Rest in peace X, rest in peace Mac, rest in peace P Money. Y'all know P Money. He was a friend of mine. Rest in peace Lil Snoop. Rest in peace Yan, rest in peace Nipsey. Speaker Knockers, never forget him. And Fredo, which was really unexpected. And fuck the world, bro. This shit's too cold. But right here, one of my favorite Supreme logos. Who the fuck is Supreme? Funny story, I actually got a, I wore the shirt, the Supreme shirt with this on it, to the 49er camp. And an old ass lady, gray hair, like 70 years old, and she's like, I love your shirt. <laughs> what the? Right here, I got my trap desk, you know. It was supposed to, it's supposed to be used for homework, but you know what? I, I don't do that shit. I got the light on because I'm recording, but really, I got right there my family pictures. You know, little bro. This is my workstation where I use stuff to send packages, Supreme shoes, you know. I got all my college offers right here, you know, the labs. Right here, I got some Travis Scott shirts, which I need to sell. A lot of Supreme stickers, which I need, I was gonna hang up actually. A Supreme shirt, Supreme box. If I, if I buy anything, it will be right here on this desk. A Supreme, uh, on the jersey for biking, but. That was a fat break. I'm just holding on to it for right now. Got my nightstand right here where, you know, I keep my stuff. Picture my uncle. A bunch of random shit I keep on here, actually. My famous Pokemon card, you know. I fuck with Pokemon tough. Got my famous Mewtwo. I'll mark anyone with this card. My, my trap phones. This was the phone I play music on for only. I'm so sorry. I got eyes where my heart is. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not trying to get copyrighted, so fuck that. My portable charger, I was telling you, but I actually need to plug that in soon because my phone's about to die. My favorite stuff, animal, bro. I love her with all my heart. My unicorn. Got the horn to watch, match the watch. And then my favorite Supreme poster, which is Fear of a Black Planet. If you real ones know what that is, if you know what that is, you're real one. All right, so that was the third wall. Now let's get to the last and final wall, which should be the simplest. Mm, that song's flat fold up. I'll put y'all on real quick. For y'all that don't know what the fuck with the ASAP mom, I'll put y'all on. Vision when I was broke. Fucking on bitches and foreign hoes. And then bitches and foreign shows. I bet I got on an overdose. I put ASAP up my tech. I put New York on the map. I put the game on the flame. I don't remember the name. I'm gonna drop with the chain. Alright, fuck this, bro. I'm about to get copyrighted. That's full. My last wall right here just got a bunch of random shit. This 2K poster my cousin gave me, shout out him. This bandana as you got at the ASAP Rocky concert. February, one of the best concerts I've ever been to. 
one of the best performers I've ever seen, other than Playboy Cardi. I love that. Got the bag with the with the merch. I got the poster. You can see one on February 2nd with Susie. Shout out her. You know I had to get the VIP, bro. You boy was front row. I'll show a clip right now. Or a couple clips actually. Enjoy that shit. Rocky, it's Hector, bro. We gotta go on one second, bro. Let's go! Let's go! I learned I'd rather have this than have a bust down chain. Right here, I just have a shoe when I was going up. That's a Westbrook idol, favorite player. Giants know we've been rocking that. Thunder know we've been rocking that. Oh, let me show you these throwbacks. Black Ops 2. I know y'all remember this, bro. 2012. Right here, I got my Rolling Loud ticket. Fuck. One of the best experiences of my life. Going for sure next year. And this one with just a bunch of pictures with all my friends. Oh, it was like friends. The Globe, you know, my cousin, Arequince. My moms, Ali, the family, Alexia. Shout out all them. All these people mean a lot to me. And I'm hoping to add more pictures to this one. That was a quick tour of my room. And then too crazy, I'm trying to go too much into detail. Just very quick. Okay, let's get into the sneakers. Let's get it. All right, so let's get into the shoes, man. Let's get into the shoes, man. Hey, hey. Let me put some music on this. Prepare. I put. Ooh, look at my pretty eyes, though. What's your name, little mama? Hey. Hey. Hey, shout out Casey Veggies. Song style, so we're gonna put y'all on again, part two. We're fucking about a list. Yeah. I can give a fuck about a bitch. Yeah. It's me, 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 and Yankees. The best part of the video. Homegrown when I'm in my zone, so I'm smoking on the homegrown, feeling like I'm all alone. Used to go to the Kings, though. All right, I'm done, bro. I'm gonna get copyrighted. Yeah, I for sure already got copyrighted, but fuck you, I'm good. <laughs> Let's get to the shoes, man. I'll start in order that I bought them to give y'all stories about every shoe. First pair of shoes I ever bought, Kyrie 2's Olympic version, Team USA version. That was the first high pair of shoes I ever bought, even though it was a general release basketball shoe. Me and my mom's went have to have for buying those. So I pay 60, she pay 60. And that was the only pair of shoes that anyone's ever helped me pay. You think about it, if I didn't buy those, I really wouldn't have had all these. My sneaker love grew through that single shoe. And sadly, I sold that shoe, but I'm looking to buy a brand new pair because I just need it. It's a memory. But I'll put a picture right here, right here, somewhere on the screen, I don't know. But show y'all what it is. First pair of shoes I ever bought. Blam. Right here, phone positive pure platinum, easy colorway. But this is the second pair I ever bought. Really, one of the most expensive shoes I ever bought in. Really, phone positive's pricey as hell. But never forget these. This is really the first like sneaker I ever got in. It actually has resale value in it, which is two fifty. Large amount of sale for days to get these. You can see they're beat as hell. You can see inside their ribs, they're beat as hell, but. For sure, I really bought that of the slides so when I bought these. Make phone pauses. Great again. Phone pause with your pad and pro. So after the phone pause, I took a huge leap. Like, huge leap. Really got me into the high pipe sneaker game. Blam. These are the easy 350s. B2s. And this is the blue 2.0 colorway. Hype. It got me into the high B shit. But. I remember stayed up all night waiting for them to drop on easy to play. Back then it was easy to get these, like easy. I didn't I didn't miss on any release. I don't go for these no more because I don't like the colors no more. First pair of these that I ever bought, first pair of high shoes I ever bought. Still clean to this day. I keep, I take care of them. I, just, I take care of all my shoes except for my beaters, like my phone closets. <laughs> well, she was the first shoe I've ever like 
had them. I wore and I was like, damn. I'm really wearing these, bro. You know? Blam. Supreme up tempo, boy. Quick story, I went to LA with Brian. Saved up for about, I say over half a year, I saved up all my money. Wasn't going out, wasn't going to go eat. Ended up racking $500 so I could spend over there in LA for myself. And at the time, I didn't know what I wanted. I made it a mission for me to get these because I missed out on the drop and I really wanted these. Last day, I went to all the hype stores. Went to Flight Club, went to Round 2, Round 2 Vintage, a lot of, a bunch of stores in LA. So we went to Round 2 first. Brian bought his babe hoodie. And then they had these posted for 350 on their Instagram, but when I went, it was too late, taking. So we went to the Flight Club. Had these babies right here, size 11. I'm a 10 or a 10 and a half. So I was really stuck. What am I, like, what was I gonna do? That was the closest I had, like size 11. 450, cause it's resale. At the time it was 450. So I said, fuck it, I'm gonna buy it. I took out the insoles from my belugas, put them in, so they would fit me nice. And I ended up buying them for 450. Best decision I ever made. These are worth a thousand now. A thousand now. These are worth a thousand now. One of my favorite shoes of all time. We'll never sell these. Never trade them. One of my favorites. Supreme Up Tempo. I'll show you a picture I took of them on feet as soon as I bought them. On top of LA, we went all the of LA. <laughs> that sounded weird, but here's the picture right now. Let's get to the next one. Blam. My favorite pair of the E350s, the blue tints. And I know they're beat as hell. I'm really sad about that also. <laughs> Maybe I'll restore them. Maybe I'll work and buy a new pair, but these are beats to the bone. Probably the shoe I've worn the most out of all my collection. Stayed up till three in the morning, waiting for them to drop on e supply. I was on the phone with my cousin. He, he was getting frustrated and fell asleep five minutes before they dropped. <laughs> so he didn't end up getting them. In this colorway, the easy 350, hands down. Doesn't get better than this, see So after I bought those, I had other shoes before, which I traded and sold. I had a pair of Bread 11s, Lowe's, which I sold for 100. I got them for 100, so this is still, I've worn them for a year. So after I sold those, I went on GOAT, went to U section. Y'all know my favorite pair of Red Shows 11. Bought these babies, bruh. The clothing ceremony 11s. They're beautiful. And mind you, all my shoes I bought for retail except for the Supreme Up Temples. They were selling them for retail and all it had was a little yellow scuff mark right here. I think it's on the other shoe, but just a tiny, tiny mark, which you can barely notice. I don't wear these a lot because they're hard to wear, but my favorite pair of retro 11 lows, clothing ceremony. Oh fuck. <laughs> For my boy Bobby, bruh. He's out December 11th, 2020. National holiday, mark your calendars. We having a party party when he gets out. Tell them niggas bring me home. Tell them niggas bring me home. Go away, free breezy home. Tell them niggas bring me home. Get out of my way, we go go. 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 Free Bobby Smurda. The next year I got after that was my favorite pair of Yeezys. My favorite style of Yeezys. It's personal, personal opinion. Most people don't like these, but this is my personal opinion. It's the best Yeezy. Blam. Yeezy 500 blush. Best pair of Yeezys, bro. Yes, they look like muscle joints. Yes, they look ugly as hell, but I love these to the death, bro. I take my word back. I wore these the most out of any shot of my collection. That's why they're Looking a little dirty, but you know what? They look better dirty. Most comfortable pair of Yeezys I've ever worn. These are comfy as shit, bro. I have these as an everyday shoe. And I will be getting a new pair of these, like, like a boot sense, because these are beautiful brand new, but they're also beautiful to use. Been through a lot of stuff with these. Matter of fact, I took these to the ASAP Rocky concert. Might be able to see it. I wrote a Sharpie. You can't really see it no more, but I wrote a Sharpie under ASAP Boys because I took these to the ASAP Rocky concert. And let me tell you, these shits was beat as fuck as soon as I got out of there. Mosh destroyed these shits. 
first match I've ever been in was with these in RIP by Playboy Cardi. Everyone needs these in their lives. And yes, they're ugly as shit. Yes, I love them. Yes, y'all hate them. I'm still gonna love them. I don't care, bro. Call these ugly. Say what you want. These are beautiful. I'll step my game up, my shoe game up little by little. Oh, my little hold up. Yeah. Yeah. Kenny Lamar, the greatest rapper of all time. The shoe I bought after my blushes are arguably my favorite pair. Blame. I know y'all see it. Travis Scott, look at look at it. So these are my pair of Travis Scott Air Force Ones. You really could wear these with anything, like anything. Oh, and yeah, you can switch the lace. You can switch the swooshes. Has all these. These change color with the light. Really could wear these with any outfit. You could do some crazy designs with the swooshes. And these are beautiful in the flash. I'll show you a video right now. I'll overlap it with another video, but in flash, these are beautiful. Has rainbow colors. And they're sale. They're sale colorway, so I, I like the sale over the white, all white, because sailors is better if you wanna actually wear them. Okay, so right after I got those, Travis Scott. Thanksgiving time was around the corner, which is right now, basically. Last minute decision, went with my cousin, Javi. Shout out my boy, Javi. Yeah, Down ass person, bro. Appreciate him for real, for real. But it was like two in the morning. He was trying to get into shoes too. And I saw them, oh, there's a sneaker, so. That kicks in next to Valley Fair. So you know what we did? He went 100 under sale, camped out there for like, shit, like six hours. Bought these for 100. Infrared 11, I know y'all see it, bro. Infrared 11. These go for 300, bro. And I got this for 100 at the shoe sale. Not much to say about these, but I'm black. Can't go wrong with black. Let me tell you though, when we were camping outside, it was raining, bro. We was freezing. These are our asses off, but it was worth the wait. My cousin got a pair of 11s too. He got the bread, bread loaves, the ones I had before. And he got a pair for his girl. You know who you are, both y'all. Story about these OBJs. Got them way under retail. I know y'all remember OBJ got traded. Sad day. I was depressed about for a, say about a week and a half. And I went on Grail as soon as he, the day he got traded and some dumbass threes on Grail for $50. So I swooped them up for 50 bucks. They are worn twice, look, they still look brand new. I had to swoop these up, bro. Couldn't sleep. I got these on a shoe sale on Hibbit. $60 for these. Retail's $120, $60 off, I had to get them. Ball up in them. Bought these in Mexico. I bought them on the Nike app and while I was in Mexico because they had a, like, a 50, they had a 50% off sale too. Dude, so those my ball and shoes. I got these for Christmas from my Baderna. Shout out him. Yacht the Vans. If there's any Vans I like, with these. I actually got these for free from Vans. Shout out Vans. Y'all the plugs, man. Got my Supreme sandals, yes. Fat ass flex. Yes, my sandals are Supreme. Or slippers are Supreme. Yes, they're cozy as shit. Yes, I wear these a lot. I'm just say on these, just they're Supreme slippers, but can't go wrong with these. So the next wrap I was actually amazing shoe. I still can't believe I have these. Like these are crazy in my opinion. What's your problem, bruh? Fucking up my recording set. <laughs> Back to the future adapts, bruh. Self lacing shoes. You hear it? Self lacing shoes, bruh. I feel like fucking Marty McFly in these joints. Yeah, I was wearing these in class, in my avid class. And I was just chilling, silent ass classroom. We were doing an assignment. They just started like tying because they tied by, they tie by themselves and they started tying in class. Hell loud like this. And everyone started staring at me. I was like, oh shit. Uh, I turned red. I turned hella red because I turned hella red when I get embarrassed. Or I blush a lot. And my teacher looked at me with like the dirtiest face. I'm like, oh, sorry, it's my shoes. And she didn't believe me. Thought it was on my phone or some shit, but so like the shit was hell embarrassing. And you can change the color of these on the app. There's an app where you can tighten them and untighten them. And these actually charge 
on, if you see over there where the other shoe is, you just place it on top. Charge. Those are sick. One of my favorite shoes. Back to the future. Dots. Can't go wrong with those. Cheese. Love me them cheese, boy. Yep. My first pair of off-whites. Yes, they're track cleats. I bought these because they're, they're just hella unique. Two pairs of laces on the same shoe. Stand out to me. And I like buying weird shoes, unique shoes. And my last pair of shoes, the latest shoes I've bought. Which I'm still paying off, by the way. But latest pair I bought. Wave Runner 700. Yeah, Wave Runner 700. I always get 750 confused. I got them on the 4th or 5th restock, but I've been wanting these for a long time. Long, long time. Brian wanted these for a long time. You don't got them. You sold them like a dumbass. I got them. <laughs> but nah, saw these on someone on the feet in person. Fell in love with them. Taking a little break from shoes right now. Trying to pay some off. Here are all my easies I got. If I were to rank by comfort, it would be these. If I were to rank by looks, it would probably probably get to the blue tints. And I'll get it to unique. 700's most unique Yeezys I own. Four pairs. Still fuck on me. I've been willing, I've been trying to get a pair of 750's, but those are expensive as shit. So I won't be getting those anytime soon, but. How much snack don't like Tyreek? So that was my room tour, my sneaker tour, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, might be a little kind of boring video or whatever. But I was trying to make a video to put up because I've been lagging on it. Hey, new content coming soon, bro. This was just a little filler video. I appreciate y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe, comment, whatever. Do y'all thing. Thank y'all. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. My respect to the bomb. Hey. Switch on my clothes like my clothes. I'm gonna rock 458. Today, I'm gonna go edit this video. That shit gonna take hella long. But that shit is gonna take you long. I'm gonna go ball up in the morning. Make sure to like and subscribe.